beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I'm joining a bunch of other beauties in a collab. I'm not gonna have my segment of my what I'm liking and not so much today. I'm actually in a collab with ladies that I'm in a Facebook group and they're called um, Beauty Babs and Collabs. And it's basically a Facebook group that a bunch of ladies just get together. Uh, you can pick and choose which collabs you'd like to be in and it's just a lot of fun getting to know you know you get to know each other meet each other collab here is actually going to be uh, some of your favorite facial masks which that's what caught my, my attention because I love facial masks and I thought it would be a really good one for me to share with you guys so if you'd like to stick around and hear what my favorite facial masks are keep on watching Okay, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and put the links down below to the lovely ladies that are in this collab. They'll all be down below. As well, I'm going to put a link down below to the um, Beauty Babs and Collabs, just in case maybe you might want to join the group and join in the fun, maybe be in some collabs and, you know, just join in along with everybody. So I'll put that link down below. All right, let's get started. All right, I got a lot of facial masks. I really have gotten into the whole facial mask for quite some time now and I find as I always call it I call it my me time especially you know you just take a moment sit back relax let the stuff do its thing and some of my favorite masks that I just got into and learned about basically here on pretty much YouTube because uh, pretty much all my beauty stuff I do watch on YouTube is sheet masks and I love sheet masks I didn't know you know what to think of them at first and everything and I what I love about them is a lot of them will have a serum based stuff left on them so like after you take the mask off when you you know most of them you leave on about 15 to 20 minutes and you remove it and you can take the serum and put it all over on your face you know like dispense the rest of it um, a lot of people a lot of beauty gals I've learned on here um, was saying whatever extra was left as well they would take it down their neck and decollete and on their back of their hands and everything so that's another thing I do whenever I'm wearing a sheet mask one of my favorite places and if you're with me long enough to get sheet masks is TJ Maxx I do have a Ross my Ross so far the couple of times I was in it I haven't noticed sheet masks not saying your Ross wouldn't have it because maybe yours would um, my, maybe mine sells out pretty quick and when I get there they're gone but I seem to have a lot of luck in my TJ Maxx I don't have a Marshalls so you could probably look in your Marshalls any of those kind of stores um, that has products like discount products you could look into but my favorite place is TJ Maxx so two um, of the ones I'm using right now I don't know if I could actually say I have a full-on favorite maybe the one uh, that has ginseng in it is my favorite that I used to get from TJ Maxx, but I haven't seen it there lately. These two here are a couple that I've gotten from there, and what I like is you get five packs, five packs in here for five ninety nine. This one I just recently got is called the Wrinkle Care Snail Eight Snail Eight Mask. So I just recently started using this one, and I really love it. It has like red. Uh, ginseng in here so it does have ginseng in this one so I'm really liking this one and it kind of does remind me of my ginseng mask that I liked really well from from there so that's one of them and this company Lano cream oh my goodness I am like really enjoying a lot of the products I find most of them in my TJ Maxx you can purchase some Lano cream in or on Amazon Again, like I said, you can look in your Ross and your Marshalls, but this one is the Soothing Face Mask uh, with New Zealand Manuka Honey, enriched with hyaluronic acid, collagen, aloe vera, and argan oil. And I'm hoping to find some more of these because this is a really, really nice sheet mask, and uh, I think I only have like one left in this one. So yeah, those are a couple that I like for in the sheet mask family. This one here I found in my Sally Beauty Supply. 
Now, Sally Beauty Supply does have some other ones in there that I didn't really like, mainly because I felt like all I was doing was putting a wet cloth on my face and then that was it. I wasn't feeling the um, serum that a lot of these leave on the mask. I wasn't feeling that. So I wasn't, I wasn't too into it. I wasn't too impressed. But this one's from a company and I'd shared this just recently from Beyond uh, Belief. And it's a Korean skincare mask, ginseng essence mask. Now you only get one of these for like two something. Uh, recently I saw, I saw they had a sale for like $1.69. So they are quite pricey for getting these a piece. Uh, and they do have several different kinds. They do have several different ones that have hyalur hyaluronic acid in it and um, some other different kinds. I can't quite fully remember what they were, but they are a little more pricey and that's kind of why I like getting my TJ Maxx ones because they're $5.99 for five pack where these you buy separately. But if you do have a Sally's Beauty Supply, I would highly recommend looking in there and maybe checking these masks out. Speaking of Lana Cream, I purchased this a while back ago and I recently pulled it back out because another beauty on here was uh, raving about it and then um, there was a couple couple other ones that I talked about they found in their TJ Maxx this Lana Cream B Venom face mask and I just recently showed this in one of my favorites um, my favorite videos not sure how well it's focusing right now um, so basically with this one here you can either put it on and let it sit for the time like 15 minutes or so maybe 20 minutes and then later you know like rinse it off or wipe it off um, or you can leave this on all night when you go to bed nice deep mask treatment on your face the only thing is they say and recommend that if you are allergic to bees anything with bee venom is probably a, a but you're best off not uh, getting it and trying it out because just to be on the safe side because your reaction to it so obviously anything with bee venom in it wouldn't be um, something I would recommend myself neither if that's what they're saying which makes sense so this does have the manuka all the famous manuka honey in it um, when you do first put this on you will feel a tingling burning sensation but don't let that alarm you it will dissipate and go away after time so don't let that alarm you. I mean, obviously if it doesn't, then you are having some kind of reaction, but you will feel that. So that's kind of normal and it will dissipate after a while. So that's one thing I've noticed. And it's kind of like, you feel like this mask is doing its job. It's working, you know, like it's doing what it's supposed to do. So I have tried it both ways and I do really like it. At first I was a little nervous. So I tried, when I did it the first wet time, I kind of did wipe it off because I was a little nervous from it. But then as I gradually worked into it, I kind of just leave it on at night and do it as a little treatment every so often. So really like this one. And like I said, it's from that Lana cream. Another one, and this is drugstore. This is the Garnier Ultra Lift Miracle Sleeping Cream. It's an anti-age, anti-fatigue night cream. And this one has hyaluronic acid in it as well. And I do this as a little bit of a nice treatment. And I do really like it. I really feel like it has firmed, giving me a firming lifting effect and feel very hydrating. I, I've been pretty impressed and really liking it. So this is another one that I would say to give a try and it's kind of like a treatment mask that you leave on all night. Another company that I have really liked a lot of their face masks and they are quite reasonably priced and, and you can find them in your Walmart. I believe in a Sally Beauty Supply. I might even think Target has them, but it is from the company called Freeman. And you probably have seen several different kinds. There's an avocado one. Um, I like that one pretty well. But these ones are two of my favorites that I like from them. This one's the charcoal, charcoal and black sugar polishing mask. This is kind of a two-in-one product that you can use. I really like it. It is different because it's a little, it's a little sticky tacky like when you're trying to dispense it all over i learned from emily noel her and her husband was using this and they really liked it 
and they're trying to figure out a way to dispense it on their face. You do, um, you know, dispense some in your hand and when you're putting on your face, don't spread it out. Like don't wipe it and spread it out like you normally do with some of the masks. I find, and I did what she did, is take it and just blotch it and pat it on different areas that you want to put it on your face. Leave it on for about 15 minutes. And then what you can do is the sugar in here, there's sugar you can use to exfoliate and polish your skin. Like, you know, and it feels really nice. If you have sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend it because it probably is going to be a little more hard and scratchy and might irritate your sensitive skin. So I wouldn't really recommend it. I mean, if you want to give it a try, uh, by all means, but I wouldn't recommend it because it could possibly irritate your skin if you are very sensitive and acne prone or anything like that. But I really like it. And I had severe, severe acne. I used to have severe acne and I actually had the cystic acne. I mean, it was pretty bad. Now my skin's changed as I've gotten older and it's more uh, combination to dry skin is what mine is. It's more dry right now in the winter time. And then when it comes to more spring and summer, it's kind of a combination like where I have dry patches and a little bit of oiliness um, in the T-zone area. So that's kind of what I've been finding when I get to spring and summer. So it's a little all over the place. My other favorite one I really, really like is the Clay Mask Chocolate and Strawberry. This seriously smells like chocolate pudding. No joke. It smells like chocolate pudding and I really like it. A good mud mask or clay mask is really good for the skin because a lot of them will um, deep clean in the pores and pull out any of them impurities that you got, you know, any dirt, any gunk. And that's why it's really good to get a nice good clay mask or uh, mud mask or something like that. And this one I really like a lot. And it's like I said, these are like three to four. I think they're more like around four dollars in my Walmart. I'm not sure if all Walmarts are like that, but they're pretty reasonably priced. And like I said, oh my goodness, this smells amazing. It does look like chocolate and it smells like chocolate pudding and I leave it on for a while and it dries up and everything and just feels really nice and makes my skin feel soft and I was sent a whole bunch of masks from the body shop so these ones were sent to me the rest of them are ones that I've purchased but these ones have been sent to me and I really really love these masks that were sent to me from the body shop as a matter of fact a lot of the products that the body shop has been sending me, any skincare products or some of the makeup they've even sent me, I've been pretty impressed. I've never really tried a lot of stuff from the body shop, not even their body sugars, body butters or anything. So I was really impressed and I was excited when they sent me a whole set of their uh, facial masks. And these are four of my favorite. They actually sent me five. So it's like one, the one, it's not the it's just okay. It's not one. It's not the one that I would repurchase. I really like these four actually in their own way because each one does something for my skin in their own little different way. <laughs> so, all right, let's get started. One of my first ones that I really, really love from their mask collection is the Ethiopian Honey Deep Nourishing Mask. And it comes with the little, it has like a yellow sticker in the front there. This is definitely for somebody that has dry skin or like me combination to dry skin. I wouldn't say this is somebody for oily skin. This mask will make your skin give a nice luminous glow, very hydrating. It actually looks like honey in itself in the container. The Body Shop is well known for all natural products. They all have like a natural scent to them and I really really like this one so that's what this one does for me. It gives me that uh, you know days that I feel like my face needs a little pick-me-up and I like to have like a natural glow to it or something like that. This one's really nice. This one I really like too. This is the Chinese Ginseng and Rice Clarifying Polishing Mask. This one has the white sticker on it. So it has um, rice, uh, rice in here and the ginseng that I love. It looks kind of like a clay, clay kind of mask. And this one's like a, another one that's a double, like you can do two things all in one where you put it on and 
you know, it pulls out any impurities. And then the rice, the little rice granules in there will polish your skin up and give it a nice, uh, fresh, clean. And it does kind of give a little bit of a glow, but that's what this one does. It cleans everything out and then you could polish. And yeah, I really like this one. Um, this one might be a little bit better for somebody that does have sensitive skin because the rice isn't so harsh like the sugar is. I didn't find it to be as hard and rough on the skin like the sugar one would be. So, okay, the next one is another one for dry skin. And oh my goodness, do I love this one. I tried the Rose Petal uh, facial mask from Fresh, the company Fresh, and it is wonderful. Like if you're somebody that suffers from dry skin, it's like a jelly kind of a uh, mask you put on and leave it set. And it's great for plumping and hydrating your skin. And I love anything that has rose in it, any rose scent, rose, anything. I love it. And, but it's quite pricey. It is quite more expensive. Now these masks are, I forget, like around almost $30 a piece, um, which is still kind of more in the higher end, obviously, compared to the drugstore or anything in TJ Maxx. I, I love that one from Fresh. And it's even double the price of what this one is, which this is the British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask, this one here. And it's so nice. I love the smell of rose. Ugh, just, I love it. And it has little rose petals in there, if you can see it. And that's kind of, it looks exactly the same as the Company Fresh. And that's the one thing I noticed. And it gives me the same kind of benefits. So yeah, I really love this mask. So if you're somebody that's suffering from you need a little more hydration and a little pick-me-up in the morning or something like that or in the evening before you're going to bed this is a really nice one too so between this one and the honey if you're suffering from dry skin I'd really say you know try those two out then this one totally blew me out of the water this one is the Himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask I have a little bit on you can see I made a little mess on my jar there, but that's this one here. Okay. Dare I say a dupe? I, I don't. I, I kind of would say very much a dupe to the all famous Glam Glow mask. And that mask, the Glam Glow mask, is great. I'm not going to say it's not a good, a good mask. It's just so pricey for all the more that you get. And for me, somebody that is more on a budget or you know like if I wanted to splurge on it I still can't justify myself for certain products products if I did want to splurge a little bit there's some I have a hard time jumping for this I you get much more product and it's thirty dollars it looks like the glam glow it acts as the same as the glam glow and everything everything about it is just like the glam glow glam glow for me which obviously the mud mask one you know the purifying one that's supposed to help you know get rid of all the debris and stuff and whatever in your pores exactly the same the scent's not the same this has more of a natural scent to it i believe there is some tea tree in here so i can smell the tea tree that's the one thing i can smell in here so i do smell the tea tree in there but I don't, I'm, I'm not bothered. I'd rather spend the money and get it where I can afford it a little bit more and it'll last me much more longer. This does the same thing. You put it on, leave it on, let it uh, pull out all that uh, leftover makeup that maybe might have got missed or anything else from the outside world, you know, like any of that kind of stuff just gets rid of all the dirt, all the grime, and you really feel so refreshed and clean with this. That's what I liked about the Glam Glow, Glam Glow when I had a deluxe sample because I was like, oh no, $69. I was like, ah, you know, because I really liked how it made my skin feel. But this does the exact same feel for me and effects and everything. Now with this one here, I do like it that also some of the uh, particles that are in here of whatever they put in here, they say that you can also like exfoliate so like you can wet your fingertips a little bit and then exfoliate with it if you want to and kind of do another another one of those ones where you can do a double uh, a double work 
effort for your skin, but I really like those ones from the body shop. All right, beauties. So that is all my facial masks that I really do love, that I do use a lot. These are the ones I gravitate towards the most. If you do have combination to dry skin, I would highly recommend trying some of these products out and see what they do for your skin. If you hear that if you're on a budget and you're looking for some products and then also a little bit more on a higher end. So I kind of wanted to put both in there and share with you guys, depending on what you're kind of looking for. So anyway, do not forget to go ahead and check the links down below of the other ladies and also the uh, Facebook group. I will have them down below. All right, beauties. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much and I very much appreciate it. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel or you came from one of the other channels, um, welcome. And please do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can join me each week and um, it's you can join me each week and also there's a little bell by the subscribe button make sure you click on the bell because that will actually notify you a little bit more to let you know when i have new videos up and running otherwise if you don't you won't know when my new videos are up and as always beauties please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you take care i will see you then love you guys Bye.